So after we have prepared the MDF files and MDW files, so we have this one MDF here. We have this MDW here. The next part is running the model. Okay, we go to the L3D. Okay, we go to flow and we get to start. And we select the Jakarta 1 MDW MDF. And select the wave file here, Jakarta 1 MDW. -U. Click OK. So we're going to wait. It's going to take a while. So it's reading the flow, the MDF files. So uh, now the model model process has finished. It's uh, it's one hundred percent. So okay, here finished. Uh, so there are five warnings. So yeah, it's uh it's not a problem. If it's zero errors, it's it's not a problem. And it's if it's uh one hundred percent. 100% completed, it's not a problem. So the model has finished running. Okay, so let's check the uh, the output. You can close this one. You can see quick plot. It's going to take a while because it's, uh, it's a MATLAB-based file. You can wait. So let's check what's in here. We have... Uh, Complicated file, the diagnosis file. So the diagnosis file can be opened with Notepad plus, plus or with Notepad. Uh, we can check what's wrong with this model. Current number. Uh, where's the warning? So this one is because there is a significant change on water level. So like uh, maybe there is uh, some kind of a blowout or something we don't know yet. So because of that, we we're going to check. So let's open the uh, communication file first, or the map file first. Uh, let's check the um, water depth of range velocity magnitude. Okay, it's gonna take a while. Okay, let's see here. Uh, yeah, it's uh, the threshold is like 0 0.4, 0 0.3 meter per second. It's it's normal because it's uh, it's in a bay, so it's it's not too significant the uh, current speed. Uh, not not any significant current here. Okay, and then let's see the uh, water level. You can see here the water level is uh, constant. There's no sudden change of water level. Okay, it's uh, it's, uh, it's it's changed because of the influence of the tides. Okay, let's now check the um, wave files. Wave M. Let's see the wave height. Let's see here. It's fine. The wave is below one meter because it's in a bay and the wave in Jakarta is not that significant. All right, everything's looking good. Uh, one more. Let's check the time series. Uh, station, let's see the water level or the yeah, water level. Quick view. So this is the time series for the water level. So we, we are seeing this uh, in this noise here because the model is still is still generating, still in its early process of gener generating the model. So it's not that beautiful. Uh, so over time, the model will be stabilized and it will produce this uh, normal time. If we want to generate a stable model, we have to use the uh, the rest of file. Okay, uh, so if another note, if we want to export our 
our output we can we can do this one export data to mat mat file or to this one mat file v7.3 so this one right here the mat file can be opened with matlab or python so it will be uh, it will be explained in the next module the post processing module okay that's all for me thank you for your attention and happy modeling